okay? There's always a story when you doodle, right? Now. Always a story when you doodle. I have not been broadcasting my slide, is it? Hold on, hold on, hold no. on, hold on. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. This is my slide. Okay. There's always a story when you doodle. Right? Everyone doodle. No excuse. You doodle in class. You doodle uh, while uh, waiting for something. You doodle everywhere. Now that you have your handphone, I think people doodle with um, everything they can. But at least it happened to me. Not just, uh, I, I cannot think of anyone that does not doodle. Okay, unless one probably a, it's a very, how shall I describe it? Maybe a square, a circle? I don't know because there is so many definitions to it. Okay. Let's see what you think of this one. Okay. Can I have anyone? Anyone that is in, uh, as a participant now? What do you think of what you see on the screen now? I'm looking at your chat box. <laughs> Different emotion? Social. Yes. Decency. Funny? After. Okay. Okay. Happy? Brainstorming? Okay, this is this is what you see of a sampling of probably we will get to the definition of doodling and drawing later at the later part, but what you can see here, can you tell me what you understand from the doodle? From the doodle in front of you, you, you see what is doodling, you see 28 April, you see people crowding. Ah, there, I can see social distancing, freedom, okay? Even without me explaining anything here, you are already answering what's what you can sting vein. No sting vein. I like drawing sting vein. The one on top of the word doodling is the only one wearing pen. No gathering. Okay. Now you, you see this and you are giving meaning to this doodling. Even without me telling you what this is. Okay. So to understand further, I like you to experience what doodling is all about. So, shall we, at this very beginning, do some doodling? Okay, I'm giving you about 10 minutes to doodle. Okay, more or less 10 minutes to doodle. It has got to be spontaneous, but also you have to have to put some thoughts uh, inside your doodle. Okay, it's a bit of sketch, draw, a bit of comic, didn't have to be perfect because nobody is perfect. Doodling is not meant to be to be perfect. It's it's your idea. Okay? Okay, just doodle with pencil. <laughs> doodle with a pen uh, any uh, keynote, it can be on keynote, it can be on sketches, it can be on pages, it can be anything pro app, as long as you, you have an iPad and if you don't have one. You just do the on a piece of paper because it's the same experience. Okay, Shaira, later. What is the best app? Okay, let's see. This is this is what we are going to do now. Okay, imagine we are going deep down under the sea. Okay, we are all going to do this. Can you do the what you see underneath the sea? Whatever you think is underneath the sea. You just doodle, okay? You didn't have to draw the wave like I did. You just doodle what you think is under the sea, okay? Are we all ready now? Are we? Okay. I Let's think start now. I'm going to time. I'm going to put a timer on. 
Okay. We are going to start exactly now. 10 minutes. Good luck. Everybody is quiet doodling. Anyone want to sing? Under the sea, under the sea. Asma, you want to sing? <laughs> so everybody okay. is like doodling now. Okay, okay, okay. go ahead, go ahead. Sing. I don't sing. <laughs> okay, sing, okay. They were asking on which keynote uh, to doodle, so it's in the, uh, uh, which apps to doodle, so it's in the keynote, yeah? Yes, anything. Yeah. For this exercise, ask them to use keynote. Yeah. Okay, so everyone, yeah, we have uh, answered in the chat box. Uh, someone asked us now which apps to use for the drawing. So for the doodling, you can use Keynote. Open your Keynote now. So uh, what Wazara is using now is Keynote. Uh, how many? Uh, how much time do they have, uh, Wazara? Um, a long more while, about another eight minutes. Okay, so you have about eight minutes, yeah, for them to doodle. Yeah, didn't have to be perfect, yeah. You just think wow. what is under the sea. What's under the sea? What can you see if you go for scuba diving? If you have experience going under the sea? If you have had seen National Geographic before? Or you must have seen books before on what's under the sea? So whatever comes to your mind that is under the sea, doodle it out. Sketch it out. It's interesting to see... Um, everyone's uh, or whatever time that we have we have people doodling yeah for Zara for your information we have about 101 participants now so mm -hmm. um uh, maybe we just uh, uh, those who one just one. came in um for Zara have asked us to try to okay i i will put in the chat back the chat box yeah Okay, I put in under the sea level, what you can see, I'm giving about 10 minutes. We've got another about uh, seven and a half minutes now, ample time from the, for you. For those who have the iPad with you, please Google on Keynote. And for those who do not have anything with them now, you can just grab a piece of paper and a pen. So think about, think about going into the sea. Think about what you can see underneath. What do you think you can see? I'm sure it's, um, it relates to everyone. Everyone probably have seen or have experience or have uh, been told about, you know, whatever this that is under the sea. We have about six minutes now. I guess everyone is working on the doodling, yeah, Panzara? Yeah, hopefully. I need. Can we have more class after 14-4? Cause the PKP ascended to 28-4. We are planning.
Okay, how many more minutes, Pandana? You have about uh, five more minutes. Okay, everyone, uh, five more minutes for you to do the anything you can see or anything that you can imagine under the sea. Any anyone coming in now, uh, Dota Wati? Uh, yes, we have um, we have uh, about nine newcomers. So yeah, as I for now, we have one hundred and nine uh, participants, including Puan Zahra. Yeah. And then those who just came in, yeah. Uh, now Puan Zahra is um, has asked us to draw. Open your keynote and then um, draw whatever you can imagine. Oh, Google, a uh, doodle. Sorry. Doodle whatever you can imagine under the sea. It's doodling, yeah? Doodle whatever you can see under um, the sea. So it's about you four think, minutes, huh? Yeah? Four minutes more, Pozara? Yeah, it's about that. It's about even four. Even if uh, even if the time has uh, passed, you know, people can still, yeah, can still doodle. So don't worry, those who just came in, you can start doodling now. Imagine whatever under the sea. So if you have never gone uh, under the sea, you may imagine whatever you have seen or watched on TV, eh, Puan Zara? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think sea is very close to us. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I cannot think of anyone who has not been uh, by the sea, if not, uh, you know, uh, venturing <laughs> into the sea a little bit. Or... Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe, mean, meanwhile, while they are drawing, there is one question here uh, by Mr. Yeah. Liu. Uh, what is the difference between doodle and draw? That will be answered uh, towards the end. Towards the end, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Liu, um, you have to keep that question up until the end of the session. Um, that will be answered later. What is the difference between doodle and drawing? Doodle and draw. So, I think uh, the participants have about two more minutes for the uh, about two and a half, yeah. Two and a half. Yeah. Oh, we have more comers, newcomers. Yes. Yeah. Emma, we can we can ask them to still doodle and doodle and still join the session when they can. Yes. But we will stop this session for drawing in two minutes time. Maybe it will be more imaginative if I can try to open um, under the sea sounds. <laughs> oh, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, uh, let, let me just try. If, if we have managed to find. Another half a minute more before we stop. Okay, Dr. Hawati, we are nearing 10 minutes in about now. Okay. Okay, everyone? Okay. Can we stop doodling now? And okay. we go ahead with the next slide? Sure, Bazala. It's all yours. Okay, yeah? Okay. okay. I have asked you to recap. I have asked you to imagine you going down deep under the sea. And you doodle what you see based on 
your thoughts, your experience or whether or not you have been uh, physically under the sea or you probably have watched something or read about something. Whatever that you are thinking, you are supposed to be putting it on paper if you don't have any. But of course, for this session, we would love you to use the keynote because uh, it's so much easier to do the in keynote because you can just erase it without having to tear or crumple the paper. You just you just do it and you can uh, undo it uh, unless you're doing it on paper. So let's see. What you have now is probably, most probably, will be related to marine. Marine, yeah? I'm not saying about marine food chain yet. Can I have any of the past participants to share their screen, to show me, anyone, what they have done? Can do we, I have, yeah. Can we have can, anyone? To show the screen and anyone, what, would, yeah, the, anyone would like to show your screen um dr zakia dr zakia is showing her screen dr zakia maybe you can add, unmute for a while okay uh, i'm drawing on, on my ipad Yes, yeah, so uh, okay. 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 okay, this is what you've done. Okay, very good, very good. You have the uh, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else wants to share what they have on their screen? Please, please do. Uh, okay, anyone else? Any participant, please. Can we have Let's see what you have done apart from uh, what Dr. Zakia has done? I'm trying okay. to share. Okay, there's a moment. There's a moment. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> okay, see. There's a moment. Then let's see what. Okay, thank you. Asma, okay. Any, anybody Bye. else? Anybody else? Don't be shy because we are not judging you. We are not judging based on your drawing. We are judging what your thoughts are. Okay, Azura. Wow, wow. Wow, there's so, so many. Okay. You have two, we have turtles there, octopus, uh, sea, uh, uh, sea cucumber. Oh, there's so many fish there. Really fish. Thank you so much. Okay, anyone else, please? Let's see, anyone else, uh, if, if anyone else are doing differently, if you think that you're doing differently, please show. We're just thinking, you know, whether we are in the same uh, school of thoughts or maybe someone else uh, out there probably doing, do something else. Uh, Shakira we have different experience. Work. So we have Shakira showing her work now okay. on the screen. Uh, she's sharing uh, her chat. Uh, where is Shakira? Shakira. She's using Shakira? her iPad. Uh, Shakira Muhammad Ramli. Shakira, can you please uh, unmute yourself for a while? Just for a while. Okay, okay. Are you? Shakira? Okay. She's not able to uh, show her now. It's okay, Bozara. I think you made okay. the Okay, Any, anyone else? Okay. Uh, I'll continue with um, this. Okay, what we have seen this now even though even though we have not seen many probably at a later stage maybe some of you might raise your hand and you know if you think that you want to say something worth sharing then probably we, we can see more yeah okay uh, okay presenter has changed okay can you see me now or what because 
it's is I'm getting this note. Okay. Uh no, we have. Are you sharing a screen now? I'm good. I I have shared just now, but I lost you. But now I'm going back. Okay, can okay, you see now? Uh, uh, we have your screen now. Marine food chain, is okay. it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Marine food chain. Okay. For from what we've seen just now, we have uh basically the same thing. The same thing. What we produce is about the sea. So, so I'm show. I'm showing you the next screen now. Can you see what I have doodled? Hello? Uh, okay, yeah, we can see your doodling. Okay, basically, uh, what you have, I've seen three years now. Okay, we, we, we have the same element. We have uh, the starfish, we have the kelp, we have some corals, we have uh, fishes, you know. But what I'm trying to uh, to say here is that we basically, from our own personal experience of only, because I've, I've only seen three, maybe there are a lot more uh, people who have done, but too shy to show because uh, we are not judging. But what I have done here, some I, I am doodling spontaneously, some I do trace. So I don't draw like this all the time. Sometimes I do pay more attention because sometimes you doodle with something in mind. Sometimes you just doodle with nothing in your mind. So what we are doing here is actually doing something based on our experience. And that actually can be used for a pre, that can be considered like a pre-mind mapping where everything is like, uh, it's not it's not uh, cohesive so everything is all over but if you relate to our uh, teaching and learning that kind of um, activities can actually stimulate a pre mind mapping um, situation whereby they put on everything in in context so the student if they're doing this they might be able to contextualizing it so by putting in something, they are pre mind mapping. They are trying to make contact with what they they see or they know. So everything is everywhere, okay. But from that picture that we put, it, even though if not, uh, it is not in sequence, but actually we have that already in our mind. So we have like you know clam, we have shrimp, we have starfish, we have coral, we have Big fish, small fish, bigger fish, bigger, big, bigger than big fish. And I put there a shark because a uh, shark is like, you know, almost, almost a very popular image to be put under the sea. And for me, because I'm, I'm always doodling and I'm, I'm always trying to make things simpler. And I put there, are you my dinner? Looking, the shark is looking at me smaller fish. So when I do that, this, this is step number one, it will bring me to the actual mind mapping. So if we relate to teaching, so that experience can actually be a process whereby you collect whatever that you have drawn and put that in step number two, where you can mind map everything in sequence or in their groups. Probably the shark will be in one group, the small fish in one group, the corals will be in one group, you know. And I've done this not even using any apps from my mapping app. I've done this using Keynote, using the drawing tool. You can get the exact, exact experience uh, of mind mapping apps. So you can do it yourself. Don't have to buy. Okay? Uh, I hope everyone gets this, the, the step number two because let's say we ask our children to, our small children or choo-choo for my age, you see. So you can just ask your choo-choo to just draw something. So when they draw something, they just draw out of their experience. And if you want to go to deeper, uh, deeper subject, you can ask how are they going to be put into category. So that is learning itself. Let them do the first. Have have fun first before they start um, their mind mapping. 
Okay, I hope you get the step number two, why we are doodling now, because I'm doing a bit more focus on the subject related um, doodling. Okay, so now let's go to the step number three. Okay, step number three is that from, from the first endless, mindless doodling, just put everything, you are categorizing into mind mapping. Then the step number three is like when you do the mind mapping, you will see the bigger picture. You know which uh, which is the lower uh, end of the food chain, or the producers, the primary consumers, the secondary consumers, the tertiary and the quaternary consumers. You can you can see the bigger picture by just extracting what you have put in your first one. Going to the second mind mapping, now you number three, the step number three, you can see the whole food chain there. I hope I can relate to uh, the teaching steps for, uh, because many of us are teachers. We are always going to be teachers whether or not we are formally trained or we are at home teaching our children, teaching our chuchu, teaching anyone else. A teacher will always be a teacher. Okay. I'm just trying to connect that fun part to the more serious part of learning. Now, this is the bigger picture. So if you go to the next one, you can, from that picture, you can always extract another unique part or certain things that you might want to study more. So this is like doodling extract. Like if you, you like the shark so much, then you will find out more. Uh, why is it that the shark is so um, so popular? Uh, it's like the, the the star of under the sea. Maybe because shark is number one. Uh, this is a time we start researching on more on unique features of the shark, and we know that by by researching, we know that the shark is actually on the top part of the food chain because it's weeding out the way the sick animal so that the overall population becomes healthy. I think uh, if you relate to the COVID-19 now, that is a natural way of uh, eliminating people uh, on earth. Because maybe there's too many of us. And you see, by doing that, now people are not going out. Uh, the Himalayan, the Everest can now be seen because of on uh, pollution so probably that is one way of the world resetting itself so it's the same as the shark so we can relate that the story that is happening now with the food chain and so on so in that sense i think the children will get more uh, understanding of why are things happening in that way and shark also hold cures for diseases, like their tissues has got some anti-coagulant, antibacterial properties. So they're trying to find out why is that shark seldom gets sick. Or probably uh, even if the shark got sick, I was thinking like, you know, what bat can go and check the shark, even if it's sick or not. So that one is my own thought, okay? And shark is also keeping carbon cycle in motion. Scavengers did see matter on seafloor. So they're much like, it's like bulldozer, bulldozing everything. Uh, it's like sweeping, it's like vacuum cleaners, doing uh, cleaning the dead matter on the seafloor. And also the shark design inspires smart design. Skin denticles, they call it, decreased drag and tubulin. That's why it's so fast. Okay? So th those are the things that the, the uh, four points that I think why shark is the hero of the sea and uh, the shark also if I'm talk talking about dinner now since we're always at home do you know who I am what's my dinner so shark eats smaller fish dolphins and whatnot okay so the, the relation between number one step one do one doodling number two is um three my mapping then number three, you see the bigger picture. And now you come to number four. The four steps actually co collates together as a holistic learning um, system uh, and using Doodle uh, correctly. I mean, there's no wrong way, but this is something very focused to education. Okay? 
I can share slide one and two on food chain again. Slide one and two. Uh, hold on, yeah. I, I need to, I will show it again later. Okay. Um, so, we'll share the sila. Okay, we'll share later. Can I? And then, this one. This one is handy images. Okay, if we draw on paper, uh, it's hard to keep. Believe me, I have personal experience. I've been drawing everywhere and I've left it everywhere. So it's hard to compile. So I have no, uh, actually, it's, uh, no discipline to keep it. But if you use uh, Keynote, uh, you use this drawing, you would be able to actually select this drawing and make your own repository or library. You Make sure that it's all together so that when you want to you reuse it again, you don't have to redraw. If you don't want to, you, you just can copy paste. So that, that's the good part about having everything electronic and you can save it. And especially in Keynote, you can do almost anything. Yeah. So this is the handy images. Yeah. Whatever you like. Because the shark, I didn't draw it myself. The shark, I did trace it because I can't rem remember shark. All the time, but I don't shark. I don't see shark every day. So please do not be intimidated by by uh, you know the act of tracing. You can trace, not at uh, drawing. Yeah. Okay. This is another example. Baby uh, shark. <laughs> Are you um? You're getting my next slide, meaningful doodle. Uh, we are now seeing use handy images, Madara. Madara, we uh, I don't know. I can't hear you. Uh, Ponzara, we can't hear you. Uh, you can hear me. Hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. No, 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 I can hear you now. Uh, you can hear can me now, okay? Can, can everyone hear Ponzara now? Can you please respond in the chat box? All right, yeah, now yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you do, do you see my next slide after you send the image? Because I've, I've gone to the next slide. Uh, use handy images, yes, we can see use handy images. Uh, the next slide. Uh, oh, because uh, no, we, we are not seeing, we are now seeing use handy images on the shop do 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 do. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I I yes. have actually broadcast my, my, um, uh, right, but you? you can see me. Yeah, you uh, can see me. Uh, yeah, we cannot see the next slide. Can you can you uh un unshare and then share again? Can you get out mm -hmm. the, the screen sharing? Oh, okay. sharing again? Uh, now we can see meaningful doodle, no? Uh, uh yeah 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 that's the one that's the one. Okay uh can you? That's the one. Okay. Can All right. See? Wait uh wait it's now broadcasting. I think it's a bit lagging and hanging. Uh, maybe you can stop sharing and then reshare again, like what you did just now. Okay, because okay. Um, can see. Okay, I stop sharing. No, okay. All right. Now we, we can see the meaningful doodle for subject related. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's okay. the one. So I'm going to go in again because I've just uh stop sharing. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, stop. The screen share. Start broadcast. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go in again. Okay. Okay. It's Can you good. see? Yeah. This one, yeah, meaningful doodle. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, this is this is another example of a uh, language subject. Is comic style, and I'm sure many of the children now are very, um, you know, they're, they're so interested in uh, comic style. So you can actually direct them to something like this. Okay, this is 
the next the next one yeah uh, I'm not seeing your next one can you see uh, is it the green screen or this one yeah? Okay. Uh, yeah this one this it's one the doodling, okay. the doodle my story is my story all right yes okay this my story is very um, very small why uh, th this is actually can be done for languages like like uh, telling a story that is actually a story that I put one, two, three, four, five, six because they are all almost the same size. So if they are the same size, it's hard for us to depict which one comes first and which one second, which one third, and so on. So this story can actually be done. I, I'm doing this without thinking of how it looks. It's just that I want to do the a story. So it ha it has got nothing on it, but it's just comic style is just drawing you can just draw stick man and just um Wanzara, we cannot hear you now uh, i'm not sure about everyone else let me check all right okay uh we are losing you once in a while um is it because of the connection interruption? I think the same um, as the rest. Yes, we can can't hear. hear. I it's come what, and go. What do I do now? Should uh, I just okay? Now, now it's, clear. it's clear now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. This I uh, I just make it quick because uh, I've got to make here yeah? for the sunshine. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. This one is an example of how you do a sketch, then you transcribe it or you convert it into story. So a language lesson. So that is just an idea for you. And I'm sure your children are doing that already. It's just that they're not doing it as in writing form yet. It's just doodling. Okay, that's for English. Okay, this is the net takeaway. Can you see my next slide? Yes, we can see your slide clearly. Okay, the net takeaway for the whole uh, session is about, you know, number one is to have fun. Because children, if you start with something serious first, they're not going to like it. Even me, I'm not children, I am going to be 60 soon. But I still want to have fun first. So I'll have the fun part first, which is just doodling. Then you do the uh, pre-mind mapping when you start thinking. Okay, then... You reflect. When you start thinking, you start reflecting why is one connected to the other or why is it the big picture is like that. You know, that, that is reflecting, uh, con contextualizing. And from there on, you can also extract the content. So this is the whole, the whole story, what I've been showing you from step number one, two, three, four, by just starting with doodling. And we have more focus on um, the subject matter related. Okay, everyone? Okay. Okay? Uh, okay. I think can... okay. Uh, okay. Now, 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 this is the whole... I'm moving to the next slide. Okay. This is the whole thing that we have done. Doodle notes. I call it doodle notes. Um, and as you can see, when you doodle... There is no hierarchy. There is no like, you know, you must do this first. Do that sequence first. Because if you start putting in sequence, then you will have a pressure. Pressure on yourself to do it all in sequence. Nothing wrong with that. But to doodle is to do what you think first. You just doodle. Just put it in. Okay? And you can always extract it later. So if you keep on telling yourself, no, you must do this first, everything according to one, two, three, uh, sequential, then uh, that's not uh, like many people think. Some people think like that, yes, nothing wrong. But many of people like me, a slow learner probably, or I learn differently. So I think anything that I want to think first, anything attract me, I will put first. So sometimes if you don't understand, like number five, you can draw cloud so that for you to remember, okay, this cloud is for me to come back, to get back. This is what I don't understand. 
Ni you have to put your title and every doodle you put a title, you put dates so that you remember this doodle date is when did you do this? Okay, you anticipate your flow. Of course, when you want to doodle, you would want to think also that you know your flow is going to be like that. But you are not going to restrict yourself to uh, to to do it perfect first. Okay, and you 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 also use handy images. You can see the frog there. Yeah? I like the frog. So sometimes if I feel that oh uh, this one de deserve a frog, so I just put an image frog image so that when I want to repeat the whole session, I know I must explain things more where I put the frog so that I can remember. So the frog is actually an icon for something very important. You can use a snake, you can you use a devil face, you can use uh, whatever you think, your own face that you have drawn. So you can do that by putting something for you to remember. Okay? Then you put name for easy location so that you, okay, this one, uh, macam matas, huh? my transporters. I put my transporters because sometimes I want to show from this part, it's going to move to the other part. Okay, some people might find it complicated because they don't, they don't think in pictures. I find it very easy and many people would probably find it um, to, to find it. You know, the way we learn. We, because I think um, I also belong to another group that think visually. Some people think by hearing. Some people see text. They're okay with text. But I do it this way. These are, these are my doodle notes. I hope I'm uh, sharing points and things that uh, you can uh, get some ideas so that you can direct to whatever you think is good for you. Okay, that is all about Google Notes for today. But welcome to the history part. How did it happen a long time ago? Okay, everyone I think should know this uh, this uh, piece. Da Vinci was a doodler. Okay, Da Vinci is a famous artist, scientist, um, musician, actor. I, I seriously thought that he must have traveled in time, come back to 2020 and steal the iPad. Because they know, you know, they, they, he, he draws and sometimes he put notes there. And he's also a musician, probably he has tried garage band and go back in time. <laughs> Uh, you know, I mean, things like that. I, I think, I, I, I have thoughts like that about Da Vinci. And since he is a, he was a doodler, I also put, I doodle his face also. Okay, this is Da Vinci. And he is a great um, creator, scientist. When, at one point, um, people have been saying Da Vinci is irre irrelevant doodle. But actually, this Da Vinci irrelevant doodles actually contain his most revolutionary physics discovery. Uh, back up by this. Back up by this. Yeah. Um, you see, contain his groundbreaking theories on the laws of friction. Scientists have discovered when they look at his doodle. Uh, closely, they know that he is a great thinker of his time and probably long before that he, he has moved further because he designed militaries he's also he was also an engineer military weapon and he's a genius in many ways yeah? that's uh, da vinci okay his famous artwork is only the last supper and mona lisa not much on that but he has done a lot more greater work as a scientist okay and this one for myself, this is towards the end that I'm going to to show what I doodle for pleasures. I've been doing this for a long time, but I've not kept all my doodles because it's all in pen and papers. It's everywhere. I doodle when I was small. Yeah? So this is what I've done for doodle. When I was in school, I like to watch what people do during school meeting, long school meeting. And that one is in 1980s probably. And the, 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 on the right side, this person, I call him Taliban. He's got long beard, beard 
and he he's always losing his pack and this is what I have asked him to do to tie his pack to his beard so that it's easier for him uh, to look for his pack I think he's somewhere right, right now in KPM I've not seen him for a long time okay this is what I also do for pleasure I do do this is done uh, this is done in just sketches sketches uh, on the ipad uh, on uh, symmetrical um it's easier for me because i have an art background but people can do that without an art background also by just doodling and this is done in less than three minutes here yeah? i do that to tell a story why i say i do that to tell a story is that because while i was in uk i have a book for over 20 years that I've been recording things that I have done like like this 1996 while I was in UK I was a carer um, it's like it's like a nurse helper and I've been going to houses to look after old people and we don't have um, handphone then so I've got to quickly remember and go home and start redrawing it so that I don't forget and all the notes there are all my notes and these are all unpublished work I've got a lot of them I've intended to publish it but I have not the time yet and on the the right side is when I was in school Jaga Preksa you know there's the invigilator sleeping also so this is uh, uh, all my my storytelling uh, in a form of doodling okay but for those who do not know me yet who have not, I have a uh, art background so uh, I practice every day and caricature is actually the hardest to do because you have to practice it every day like everything else I do that if I have to why because while I was in IAB uh, I mean uh, when I first started joining IAB in 2008 or 9, I remember, um, I had to learn all these things that I do not like, like the balance scorecard, like, you know, the values, the MISI, VC, I do not like that. And I had to redraw to, for me to understand. Now, on the right, you can see that I cannot understand what is being said. So there's a lot of uh, memorization that I have to do and I had to draw for me to remember what I have learned so this is for difficult subject okay so now this is about uh, this is about like you know the session that we have done from from the first one to the end and mr. who, who is that I remember as, asking me what is doing what is drawing I'm asking you back, what is doodling and what is drawing? Can someone <laughs> answer? Uh, what yes. is doodling? Uh, back to the one who asked the question just now. Can not remember who asked that? I'm question. asking you back. What, yeah. is doodling? what do you think is doodling and what do you think is drawing? Anyone can answer. Anyone would like to share what is doodling and what is drawing? Uh, you can unmute for a while and then share what your thoughts. So, no, so I, it's not the I same, yeah? And drawing, Zara? Uh, well, well I'll, I'll listen first, and then I will um, uh, I will uh, explain because there is so many definition on anything because it depends on how you see it, and that will probably be the definition that you use. And yeah, I cannot yeah. say, yeah. yeah. We have some answers in the chat box right now, like okay. uh, the one by Mr. Azmi, he said that doodling is what is on your mind, while Mr. Leo stated that doodle sound like me. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> okay, doodle. And then Shakira said that doodling is a story. Drawing is just a picture. Okay, okay. Oh, we yeah, have um, uh, Dr. Rahana saying that using your imagination to express your ideas. So we have a okay. few... Answers given in the chat box. Okay, I've seen this. Uh, funny doodling is like brainstorming. Do doodling, uh, 
uh, doodling is a simple drawing, you know, doodling is an expression, you know. So, um, because uh, my, my session is going to end very soon, but mm. I'm going to let you know that, you know, depending on what your definition is, because right now you cannot put uh, just one definition because there is so many definitions because even doodling, there are there are people who zen doodling, uh, zen doodling something like that. Uh, they, they are rebranding doodling because they want to be seen as the, the expert in, you know, when you're teaching doodling to someone who cannot draw. So they, they're making making more uh, uh, feel for doodling. So for me, I have chosen this as my my uh, my take on this one. Even though I do not totally agree on many of the definition of doodle versus drawing. So what what has been said about doodle is like is aimless. Okay, you can be use a uh, doodling. Um, is like um, mindlessly. It's like like uh, you can be doodling also for something that you have has something in mind. You have some some subject matter in mind, or like like Da Vinci. Da Vinci people has been saying. I mean, there are there are there are comments or observation on Da Vinci because people think why did he doodle in mirror? If you see his his sketches, his doodle, they are all weirdly written because he write he's a left hander and he writes uh in mirror so people think that doodling and doodling can in mirror some more well Zara, we can't hear you now um, have ample time, ample time. yeah <laughs> yeah okay okay much better now okay can I, can uh, okay in, in um, because no real purpose no real purpose doodle because this this how can also be a challenge so you know because there is no exact definition but this is overall what um they think about doodle is endless no real purpose no pressure to perform no need to depict anything is playful is linear is geometric shaded whatever that is doodling Okay, but drawing, drawing is another part, you know, drawing can be, if, if, if it is accurate, it communicates well. If it's not, probably it's in between doodle, doodle and drawing, because there are different stages of, uh, you know, from doodling to the stage where it becomes a perfect drawing. So for, for now, for me, for me, not for now, for me, Doodle, I, I like more like doodle, doodling, without any pressure, without any anything to perform. Because you do that for fun first, remember. And then when you have the added advantage of being able to draw, then it becomes even better. But if you do not have to, don't know how to draw, nothing to stop you from doodling. Because from doodling, actually, you you will have that that thought that you know maybe oh I can do this better I can do this better I can do that one better so it it is actually um, will improve in itself not by the way we are thinking but also by the way we perform whether it's doodling or drawing so that is actually my take on doodle versus drawing because there's so many. So many um, um, things about doodling uh, that uh, people are rebranding and so on. But don't take it like doodle. You have to be good in your drawing. You don't have to be good in drawing. Some people say that they are not good in drawing. But when I see them, I see them differently. Because they, they, they have the uniqueness that they, cannot, they themselves cannot see. Uh, things like that. But maybe because that is because of experience. But I hope. Uh, for my conclusion is that we can uh, make use of this doodling by uh, directing it uh, towards education uh, in this PKP time and uh, MCO time. This is a good time to start doodling with your children at home. Probably they can learn something about doodling and please do not pressure them into going to the next stage first until they have fun. 
Okay, I think, I hope I have answered everything uh, that is here. I'm sorry if you can, if you miss my voice a bit here and there, but uh, you can always, uh, sorry, before that, yeah, these are the two books about um, Da Vinci that I have read, not finished yet, but uh, been, there, been there in the house for many years, but now only I'm thinking of reading it more. Because I have more time, not actually have more time, but I, I have to force myself to read. Okay, this is me, and please, uh, you can further scan my um, IG, uh, my uh, Twitter. I do put things there that I want to share, but of late, I've been doing a lot of video conferencing. I have no time, in fact, with the work coming in also. I hope it's like, it's like was then was then working in, in the office okay that i think uh, summarize everything that i have to say here i hope you have a very good uh, stay at home for two weeks and hopefully we are all going to get over this COVID 19. thank you so much thank you Puan Zara. uh before that uh, i have one question that i have been keeping okay uh, quite some time are you okay Zara? I, I was a left-handed a long time ago, but my parents has actually oh. <laughs> uh, scolded me and strained me to use my right hand because, uh, you know, orang Melayu, you cannot, you cannot use your left hand to eat. But I was a left-hander. My father is a left-hander. I've got sibling, uh, most sibling uh, left-hander, uh, but I have been, I have been wet so that I have use my right hand more but I'm not ambidextrous. <laughs> like Leonardo da Vinci, uh, he's a left-handed person, right? So uh, usually they say left-handed persons are creative people. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter is also a left-hander. Uh, so yeah, Zara, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my daughter is also a left-hander. Uh, open uh, for... Okay, maybe if we have questions uh, before we end yeah. our session, uh, yes. from the participant, uh, anyone would like to ask questions to Puan Zara, you can unmute for a while. We can take about uh, two questions if you want to. Yeah, I can answer, I will, inshallah. Anyone, uh, if it's in the chat, uh, chat box, um, a lot of discussion uh, going on on whether can everyone doodle. Uh, uh, some would say everyone can... Maybe everyone can draw, but not everyone can do that. Maybe you can respond to that as well. Okay. Uh, uh, say again, what, which one is the, the chat that I didn't see? Say, uh, it, it's, it's already, it's going up already. Uh, but someone mentioned on um, everyone can draw, but not everyone can do the. But a lot of discussion going on, some would say the opposite. So what will be your... My your, responses. Okay, yeah, yeah. if if I were to uh, base on my experience, I cannot base on other people's experience. My experience is that I have been doodling, uh, doodling. For me, the meaning of doodling uh, and drawing is like stages, stages of your drawing. First, you sketch uh, where you scribble, and that's when you you start forming uh, meaning. So that is doodling morphing into drawing that's my my experience from i just doodle let's see if i thought of something i just doodle because i can't draw exactly what i'm thinking so i just doodle then i will try make it even better then it becomes a drawing so the stage from doodling scribbling it morphs into drawing that is my experience personal experience Okay, uh, hey, the uh, uh, yes, up uh, one one. Hey. Uh, why are we doing it on the iPad instead on paper? So, this is one of the things that uh, we should be discussing as well. Uh, okay. because I think uh, doodling can be done on paper as what Pon Zahra mentioned just now. The reason mm -hmm. why we want it to be uh, to be digitalized so that the whole ideas that you have, you can keep can it. Be, yeah, you yeah. Can True. Uh, Puan Wanurani, uh, it's music too. Okay, okay. Now, can you hear me? 
I have to agree. I have to agree okay. with you. Okay. Yep. So, uh, if we have a uh, doodling, been doing the some doodling on keynote or even on pages, we can have those uh, content of ours being being kept in and what they call it, uh, sort of a stored in digitally. You can go back and reflect. You can see back whether your ideas are there or you need to add uh, more ideas on what you have doodled. Uh, probably the doodling is also about why you do it digitally is about, hey, when I come back, I find that yeah, one of my ideas here was good then but was not good here now uh, after some time. So doing it digitally allows someone to be able to come back, reflect, make changes, uh, and kept that for years, uh, especially when we have, uh, you know, being documented as digital rather than on papers, which could be, you know, un unstored or uh, kept away. So that is one. Another thing, if you notice, which you have learned when you do keynotes, is that where you can use LISO to move your character or your thoughts around. As what uh, uh, Zara mentioned just now, I can do the put uh, everything there and you can point it everywhere. But at the same time, you can also uh, move your characters around, move your thoughts and ideas around. That is the one thing uh, when we talk about uh, our, or when we doodle digitally. And, and and how we can make more values when we put it uh, in digital. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I want to talk about is this is what they call it design thinking. When we talk about design thinking, Zahra, can you go down to, uh, to the, can you go to the, the one that you did on the COVID? My story, is it? I think it's my story. My story. Okay, this this could be an idea when we talk about design thinking. Is how we put frame things uh, according to our thoughts. Uh, be it in a, a, a subject uh, like languages. Be in a subject like STEM. How do we process things? How do we put our solution? Just like Da Vinci comes in with the ideas. Uh, people doodle as they said anywhere on train or they can be you know at the school compound they can be um, at any point of time that's how we want to grasp the idea of people putting their ideas in thoughts and documented it uh, we Malaysian sometimes we think a lot but we hardly document what we do or what we think so doodling is in a way where you put it on document is important. And doodling doesn't need you to be able to draw really well. It could be you could be just doodling just your text instead of uh, drawings because you felt that you were not good at drawing. You could be doodling by just putting a stick man. Mm. So any form of doodling is about putting ideas or putting what's on your mind and put it and write it down. That is the most important thing, which we miss a lot. So a lot of uh, countries that have high, what they call the uh, innovations and high creativity are people who always document their thoughts. So doodling is one way to help our ch we as 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 the uh, the people who's also teaching our children uh, to continue to document their ideas and their thoughts. Okay, I pass it back to you, Dr. Harwati. Okay, uh, thank you, Puan Noraini, um, for the thoughts. Um, uh, Dr. Juf, uh, can we, can I share my screen? Thank you so much again to Puan Zahra. Um, uh, I don't think we have any more questions um, in the Okay, chat thank box. you. Thank you so um, much yeah, for having me. Uh, again, thank you, Puan Zahra. Thank you, everybody. Uh, before we end our session, um, uh, you can always um, wait. Let me share my screen first. Okay, so 
Alright, uh, for teachers, uh, this is borang pendaftaran. Uh, for your attendance, you can um, scan this QR code. And for lecturers and teachers as well, we need your feedback for this session so that we can continue more. Since PKP is extended, so um, we are planning for more. Don't worry, inshallah. But please provide us your feedback so we can um, improve. Uh, there are rooms for improvement for us. Uh, am I too fast? Okay. Uh, and for Mara teachers uh, or lecturers, uh, kindly scan this QR code. Uh, as well as for Apple Teacher Community, uh, you can also scan this QR code for your attendance, uh, proof of attendance. Uh, I think I will just repeat the QR code again for it to for, to allow you sometimes for you to scan. Okay, we have two here. Borang pendaftaran cikgu. One for wacana ilmu. And then we need your feedback again for teachers and lecturers. For this session, yeah, uh, with Puan Zahara. Okay, uh, and then for Mara teachers, um, this is for your uh, attendance, so QR code, and also for Apple teacher community. Okay, so I hope everyone is able to scan the QR code. And again, uh, if you have any uh, inquiries or you have any things to clarify, you can always go to Apple Learning Resources. And perhaps after trying, sometimes you may get yourself certified. As an Apple teacher, uh, just go to www.apple.com uh, slash education slash Apple uh, teacher and then um, go through all uh, the learning resources and inshallah get yourself certified. Uh, apart from that, you can always uh, download the free Apple books in everyone can create. Uh, we have a lot of um, Apple books in the store. You can uh, download teacher guide. You can download, everyone can create drawing. If someone was talking about it's not easy to draw, you can also download, everyone can create photos. And there are a lot of um, options in the free Apple books. Okay. Um, and also, uh, don't forget our next session tomorrow uh, on editing your photos. Uh, using Keynote, we have Dr. Azwin Arif Abdul Rahim from UNP uh, who will be giving or will be training uh, on the next topic tomorrow, as usual, 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Um, on Webex. And um, with that, again, uh, thank you very much, Puan Zahara. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, anything, one or two words from you before we end the session? Um, keep on uh, tuning. We are planning for more. Inshallah. Thank you so much, Puan Zahara. Um, we are glad You're to have you sharing today with us. And thank you everybody for attending and participating in this session. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum. Salam.